This motherboard has a slot for an M.2 Wi-Fi card, but it didn't come with a card. And in order to add Wi-Fi to this board, you need to buy a kit that will allow you to connect the antennas to the outside of the case once the motherboard's installed. That's what I'm going to do today in this video. Well, not just buy the kit, but also install it. This is the kit I selected. It comes with the Wi-Fi card, the antenna cables, PCI brackets that the antennas pass through, a low profile and a regular sized one, this little plastic retention clip that keeps the antennas connected to your Wi-Fi card. I highly suggest that you buy a kit that comes with one of these, an M.2 screw, a little tiny screwdriver, and drivers that come on a CD that they probably shouldn't even include anymore, but whatever. You should not buy one of these kits that actually is designed to go into a PCIe slot on your motherboard. Those kits often have antenna connections that are extremely short because they're designed to be self-contained in the shape of the card and not interfere with other parts, and they won't come with the other types of things you might need to put this into your motherboard. Chances are you have an alternate way to connect to the internet if you're just adding this card to an already built computer. But if you're building a brand new computer and really need the Wi-Fi, find some way to download the drivers for whatever card you bought and put them on a USB flash drive first. So that way, when you start up your computer, you can install the drivers and get on the internet right away. You can rearrange the following steps, whatever's more convenient for you, but I'm just going to present them in this order because this is the way I'm thinking about them. The first thing is connect the Wi-Fi card to the antennas and put that little plastic retention clip over them. This will keep the antennas attached to the Wi-Fi card while you're moving it around, at least more likely to be attached. And I like to just get this out of the way, but you could save this for last, like I said, whatever order you like. Also keep in mind that these little antenna connectors are fragile and very tiny, so you want to make sure they're aligned just right before pressing them down, and you could press them down with your fingernail or maybe a kind of a dull pencil tip or the side of the screwdriver. If your motherboard has an attached I.O. shield, you'll probably need to remove that to pass the antennas through. If it's not attached and it's the kind that just presses into your case before you install the motherboard, then you might have to change the order again of these steps and probably actually install the Wi-Fi card as the last thing because you'll have to perform some cable management to get everything right. You'll need to take the antennas out of the PCI bracket in order to, well, move them to the I.O. shield. If you don't have any holes in the I.O. shield for the antennas, but your motherboard still has a slot for a Wi-Fi card like this, then you'll just need to use that as it came in this kit. To take the antennas out, you undo the nut that's on the outside um, side of the PCI bracket. That nut is very thin so you may need needle nose pliers or regular ones because it's usually on pretty tightly too and there are also some locking washers on either side of the PCI bracket make sure you keep those in the same order when you install the antennas into the IO shield they prevent the antenna from unscrewing itself when you're adding and removing antennas as you use your computer from now on also to note there's a flattened side of the antenna connectors and usually a flattened side of the holes that are in whatever you're passing them through. Align those. That's how you get it in. If you don't, you're going to have a bad time and it's going to feel like it's stuck. It seems obvious, but it might not be because, it's well, it's tiny and easy to miss. Actually, another point about that, uh, your I.O. shield is probably very flimsy. So if you try to crank these things down when you're tightening up that nut and putting it through, you might just rip to shred your, or bend at least, your I.O. shield when you're spinning that thing around. It'll just spin right around through that flattened side. So just do it hand tight and maybe snug it up a little bit with the needle nose pliers later, like a quarter turn at most. You've got to reinstall the I.O. shield now that you've got the antennas through, which is easy enough. Just put it back on the way that you took it off and install the card. And with the excess cable, you'll have to find somewhere to put it. I'm going to tuck it just behind the rest of the I.O. I think it'll be safe there. It doesn't look like anything's back there that will generate so much heat that it could cause a problem for this cable. And if it does, then I'll go back and do the whole thing over and move it. But this could be different for every board, and I'm not sure what the best route will be for yours. 
And the last thing I'm going to show here is installing the card on the motherboard. This is very much the same as an M.2 drive, except the keying for the M.2 card is different from a normal drive. You only have one slot for this, probably, and uh, make sure you put it in the right spot. It does not go where one of the drives go. And an M.2 Wi-Fi card and an M.2 drive are not going to go in the same spots. I just... I'm reiterating that because someone might get confused. I fired everything back up on this computer. I've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Everything's working great. I'm just running a speed test for fun. Well, I mean, not, not for f fun, I guess. But anyway, everything works great. It's a pretty simple upgrade you can do if you need Wi-Fi and don't want it to take up one of your PCI slots. So thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. Have a good day.